Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the room. We are going to have a go at, well, the fourth puzzle I suppose if you include the tutorial puzzle. It is this interesting tabletop and a cacophony of horrendous terrifying noises to accompany it. I don't, yet again, I don't even know where to start. We have clicky things. These look like puzzles. A small slit in the exact center of the table. Can we look at anything? Hmm. Well, I assume it's all going to be on top of the table because before this it was all underneath. Let's have a look around and see. See how that those two arrows are pointing to each other. What's that over there? There's a little... Kind of, I want to look over here. Ah. Hello. A small socket. Well, that's a step. We found something. <laughs> we found something. I've no idea what it is, but we found something. we slide these things? I can't zoom in on them, which is kind of annoying in its own way. Can we spin this? Nope. It looks as though we need to get these things to push inwards to make the center move. But I No, we can't click on that. We have no items to use because we haven't found anything yet. That has nothing to do with these globes. No, we don't seem to be able to interact with those either. What's this? A large circular indentation. We don't seem to have any control over this either. At this point, I'm just clicking on random things until something jumps at me. What's that over there? It's a globe. Hello? Ah! A brass winding handle. August 15th. Something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Aseroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me, and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. Seven out of seven. Well, first thing I'm going to try is this. No. Second thing I'm going to try is that plate that we got to pop up here. I assume that's going to spin this. Okay. We're doing something. I have no idea what, but it's doing something. A sword. And now I can hear a clicking, a ticking clock. A sword is in the center of the table. I feel like we have to line this up somehow. There's going to be a very specific angle. Maybe. Oh, hang on a minute. Why is that background? Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? I don't seem to be able to get the angle right. 
something like that. But it's not. Hmm. Of course, I could be coming at this from a complete wrong angle, which is decidedly possible. I don't really see many other things that we could do, though. That does seem to make the most sense. It's just... Let's have a look. It's got to be lining this up correctly, and I'm just doing it wrong. But there's only so many angles you can view this from, and the only one that looks even remotely close is this one. You can't... I can't zoom in. Ah! That would be why. I was looking at it from the wrong angle. What an idiot. Oh, that that's helped. <laughs> Hmm. I feel like I need to zoom the camera out, if that makes sense. That can't be the case. Nothing the other side, is there? No. And down below. Ah, okay. That explains that conundrum. I can rotate to the dagger in the center. Oh, and now we actually have a dagger. An ornate, ancient dagger. Need to pay closer attention to what I'm looking at. Now, I assume the dagger goes in the center of the table. That would match the image. Oh! Okay, then. I don't know what that's achieving. Ah, okay. Well, that's in reference to. We have all these planets now, but this is the only clue we have. We still have all those arrows on the table. That doesn't push me in a direction to understand. Aha! There we go. Am I going to be able to remember that? You know, it's one of those things where, yeah, probably, probably could remember that. But then on the other hand, the modern technology of taking photos on my phone is so much easier. And it makes me look like much less of a bloody idiot. So oh, it's dead, 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 dead. There we go. That set the planets in motion. What's next after the sword puzzle? An eye. Is it the all-seeing eye? Ooh, hello. What's that down there? Is there another keypad that I can end, uh, look at? I'm just going to take a photo of that as well. Keep that off to one side, just in case I need to quickly enter it somewhere. Uh, well, that's spinning, and we can't do this until everything has stopped spinning. Big question is, is it a timing thing? Or do I actually have to stop it moving? I'm going to assume I have to stop it moving. Is there a keypad somewhere? Well, there's this keypad over here. Still. Is that bigger than it was before? OK. 
Okay. Can we turn anything? Or is it just, no, it's just a case of lining it up. Wonderful. It's an eyeball. Take the eyeball. A large gold amulet. Why do I feel like there's something more to this than meets the eye? <laughs> no pun intended. Maybe not. Where would a large gold amulet go other than potentially here? Because this looks suspiciously amulet shaped. Well, nice knowing your planets. Well, now it turns. It turns the thing in the center. If I line up... Maybe that one? That one? Maybe that one? No, maybe that one. I believe that's where it started. Okay, what else do we have? I bet you it's something to do with this, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let's line up each one. Whoops, that was... I just spun it wildly. That's not great. It's upside down if I do that, so let's have a look at that. What sort of things can I see? There's a hole in the table. That there is a hole. Oh, intriguing. It's not that. Unless I'm getting the wrong end of the stick, which is also decidedly possible. Whoops, I clicked off the game. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move that to there and go have a look. I'm problem solving as I go here. I wonder if these symbols mean something. Do we have to line it up to something? Now that is its starting position. I wonder if we have to spin it like a... Oh, bloody hell. Like a lock. We have to go one way, then the other. Right now, I'm lost. Let's have a look at the sky. The, the, the sun goes strange. I say sun, because it's not a sun, it's a light. <laughs> I don't see any any more of these the only thing we have to play with and I don't quite I wonder if I put it at not the right angle whoops like just like that let's just spin it round and look at every single side I guess Can't interact with anything here. I wonder if it does have anything to do with this hole. No. It does not. Does that have anything to do with this? No. The heartbeat in my head is, is decidedly distracting. I am honestly at a complete loss. Those arrows have to signify something. I just don't know what. Those arrows along with these markings. What do they correlate to? I don't think there's anything else to use as a guide in any way. Oops. 
I've definitely done like every single position at this point. That's the starting position. That can't. It feels like I'm supposed to be matching something or doing something. Of course, just spin it wildly. That might work, eh? I said I didn't have to keep going to that to this mirror. So weird that even if I put it at just a random angle, I always seem to see a flat side. Look at that. Out of curiosity. Oh, that seems to work. I can get an angle on it. I wonder if I have to line it up with that or that. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, it's the frippin'. I think I got it. Those buttons indicate points on that pad. There are two on the bottom, one in the middle, so one, two, three. Then I need to find the top two rows. Ah, now I do feel like an idiot. Actually kind of surprised I worked that out, if that's the case. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this down so it's... If I do a grid, uh, how many high is it? Four high. And then three down. Luckily you can't see my awful drawing skills. Right, one, two, and then one in the middle. Then I need to find out the top two. And I'm guessing those markings are showing me what sides I need or what? So I'm guessing if I go to that one. That'll show me that it's the top one in the middle. And then I need I just need the third row now. Which probably gonna be that one, I hope. Yes. Oh. Actually, a really simple, simple thing. Okay, so it should be that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm ashamed at how long that took me to notice. Ooh, look at this! I just have to grab it when it's open. Eh. Oh, the energy source harnessing the null element. Element. Is that why it was invisible when we looked at it through the mirror? Because it's null. Okay, well that's different. How do we manipulate those? Unless we use this again. Because we still have control of the turning table. I should look at the... Whoops! I... God damn it. Doesn't help. Oh. Okay. It does help. We're now here. Wherever here is. Uh... Wait a goddamn minute. We're missing... the wrong angle. That needs to go up. I'm seeing if there's anything on this. Oops. No, you can't yeah. Can I use this? No. That's the null symbol. The null symbols on all of them. In fact, they all have the same thing written on them. Let's look at this from another side. I clicked off the game again. Oh dear. Hello.
D do you want the null element? I assume you want me to put the null element. Yeah. There you, there you go. Is, are we like starting a Stargate or something? Oh, yeah, Stargatey. Wow, we did that in very quickly. It, it, I, I'm impressed. Is in progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? Uh. Where on earth am I? This looks to be another box. So, I'll end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.